Their team is undefeated, but they're still looking for their fan base. KSNT News reporter Kelly Saberi tells us how the Sizzlers are bringing the heat back to Topeka. Calvin Thompson isn't just the head coach of the Topeka Sizzlers. The former KU standout wears many hats. He's also the general manager and owner. Scheduling practices to finding facilities to filling out the sponsorship levels to making decisions to drop the ticket pricing to you know player contracts. His biggest mission is to get fans in the stands. I guess you could say I have a big head for big hats. <laughs> but he has a reason to have a big ego when it comes to hoping the Sizzlers will have a huge crowd. With the excitement of Thompson and his KU teammate Ryan Kellogg at the Sizzlers in the 80s. Washburn Rural would be packed with up to 3,300 people every game. We hope within year two that the fan base will pick back up like it was. League-wide tickets are $16, but Thompson lowered the price to bring in more fans to just $5. He knows how important it is to have fans at his games. You know, I played not far down the road at the University of Kansas, and we packed the house every night, and you want that home field or home court advantage. And Thompson's not the only person making a comeback. I was the director of the Topeka Sizzlers dance team in 1986, 87, and 88. Uh, Bernie Glannon was then the owner, and it was a fabulous time. It brought uh, semi professional basketball here to the capital city in Topeka. We had a great time. Now she has the same role. This is something that Topeka really needed. We now have our very own uh, semi pro basketball team here, so I'm really excited to be here. We knew we wouldn't get there the first year, but just getting back on the map and getting back on the scene. In Topeka, Kelly Saberi, KSNT News. Definitely something to look forward to.